Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, all across the Capitol today, uh, folks are wearing blue to really signify the, um, the awareness of human trafficking and exploitation. And um, education and awareness is key. Uh, there are many folks in our communities who really think it doesn't impact them or it really doesn't, you know, I, it has no bearing on my life. But I want to assure them that it absolutely does. Across Pennsylvania, you, you see the impacts of human trafficking and exploitation in our communities. My district is along the I-81 corridor. We're in a four-state region of Pennsylvania, Maryland, Virginia, and West Virginia, and not far from the District of Columbia. And um, it is also very prevalent when you have immigrant, large immigrant communities. And I know many of our communities across the Commonwealth have extraordinary immigrant populations. And today, we're not only standing for awareness and education, but we're actually doing something tangible. We're giving law enforcement the tools that law enforcement has asked for and needs uh, to prosecute and to uh, make our Commonwealth safer against those who would seek to exploit those uh, who are vulnerable. And we are making sure that our criminal justice system does not um, further victimize those who have already been victimized by uh, the horrible acts of, of human trafficking and exploitation and um, all of the, the ramifications that surround that. So thank you everyone who has been part of this today, all of those who are part of it here in the House, uh, the, the prime sponsors and our partners in the Senate. We've already uh, been working with them as especially as we've worked on the Buyer Beware Act, and we look forward to their partnership as we continue uh, this and uh, see these pieces of legislation enacted into law in the Commonwealth that makes all of us safer and rids the Commonwealth of the scourge of human trafficking and exploitation. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.